and starting off episode 68 with 600 Thermi KC, it kind of worked, you know, 68, 6... Alright, I just died at Thermi. I think this is the first time I've died at Thermi, but it was because my carols broke, so... Yeah, I had not so much defense, but yeah, let's repair this, and I think I'm going to take a break from Thermi, and I'm going to try barraging the, uh, the little smoke devils, because... You know, it's, it's meant to be really good XP, and I kind of want to get the magic XP, and you've still got a chance of getting the occult from the little guys, so it's not too bad. Also, fun fact, I forgot to stop recording, and this clip is 37 minutes long. I'm not going to leave it running that long. <laughs> ah, General Grador. I'm not the biggest fan of Vandos, or God Wars Dungeon in general, really, but I want the drop, so I think I'm going to go 35. Let's, let's hope we get a drop and that I can actually stick this task out. Sadly, this clip isn't a drop, but I just wanted to include this because he's on 5 HP and I just noodle, like, look, I can't, I just, I even, like, well, I tried to super combat again, but I just can't hit him, like, and then when I finally do, it's like a 1 or something. <laughs> it's crazy. Look, like, I just, I just keep missing, and then I hit a 1. He's 5 HP! What is this? Alright, I fancied a bit of a break from Bandos, so I decided let's go try Sarah. I wanted to do Sarah after I got my blowpipe. Like, I was saying, right, I'm, once I get my blowpipe, I'm going to go Sarah. And then I just never did. Um, but yeah, I really want to get the SGS. I love the SGS. Um, but yeah, let's go give it a try. I haven't done this in a very long time. I'm not expecting it to go well, but hey, only one way to learn. One kill trip feels good, man. I tried to get a second. I just don't hit. I don't understand. I like my accuracy is so low. Um, I feel like it shouldn't be as bad as it is, but I don't know what the issue is. Taking a quick break from bossing to do some farm runs, and here is ninety three farming. Nothing unlocked. Cool. Okay, so I know this is kind of a waste, but I just, I really don't enjoy Bandos. It's, I just, I don't want to do it. Um, in future, I'm going to be more sensible and not go for 35. I think I'll probably stick to 10, um, and I'll go with that. So if I get a Bandos task in the future, I'll go with 10, because then I'll slowly get towards the Bandos items, but it means I don't have to really not enjoy my life. <laughs> Because I just really hate Bandos, and I have enough points, so I'm not too worried about it. So, let's get a better task. Fossil Island Wyverns. Uh, I don't want to. Actually, I might go try the, the Ancient Ones. See, how, Give them a shot. The Ancient Wyverns were pretty bad, but I did the task at regular Fossil Island Wyverns, and then I got a Necreal task, and I decided to barrage them. And I got 94 magic, which means I no longer need to boost to use Ice Barrage, which is so nice. Um, so apparently I just received highlighted drop dragon bones. Uh, I have no idea where that's from. Um, I genuinely have no- what? Where? How- what? How did I get dragon bones? I don't understand, game. Game, explain. I am confusion. I'm not quite sure why I was in full screen mode, but you're just gonna have to deal with it for a clip. But yeah, here is 94 Slayer, one level to go until I can do Hydras. I don't think I get anything from 94, but hey. One level to Hydra, and then I can get myself the Claw and the Ring, and I can't remember what else Hydra drops. I came to Kona for my 10th task in a row. I got a couple bad ones. I probably could have done that Blue Dragon's task, but oh well. But yeah, Muted Zygmites and Zanaris, I'll go do that, because it will be pretty quick. But hey, let's see what we get from the Brimstone Keys. Ung Rubies, Iron... 100k cash, can't complain about that, and some more rubies, nice, and some diamonds, nice. Right, so I just got a Chaos Fanatic drop, I'm gonna go and, uh, am I gonna safe spot it or am I gonna flinch it? I'll probably try and safe spot it, like how I did originally. Um, I think the best weapon for me to use is probably still my, <clears throat> is probably still my anchor, I'm not 100% sure on that, so I'm gonna look it up, but. I'm going to assume it is. 
and go watch the video figure out how to safe spot it again. Uh, so I'm an idiot, and that's the Chaos Fanatic, not the Chaos Elemental, which if I had known that, I probably would have done 35 of them because I want to get the uh, wards, but it also means that I don't have to look up how to kill them because I know I've done it a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's gear up and head out. Last time I was killing this guy, I was using a rune crossbow because I'm... I distinct. That's that's the reason I was killing him last time. Yeah, last time I came here, I was using. Jeez, literally, oh, every time I come into the wildy, I get friggin' a, a genie. This is what friggin' some politics should be doing. But yeah, last time I was here is because I wanted to get this for a clue scroll, and I was killing it with a rune crossbow and. Uh, enchanted emerald vaults to poison him because it would increase my DPS like significantly. Uh, and now I'm fairly sure I can kill him. Like I have mithril bolts in this thing, and it is killing him so quick. Look at this! It's crazy. If I had had this before, it would have been so much easier to get my hands on these legs. I can't believe I got them first kill back though, dude. That's crazy. Right, there we go, I got the three kills. I probably could have just stayed, to be honest, but I don't really want to right now. I'm gonna go grab myself another task. I'm still waiting for a Cerberus task. I really want to get the uh, Smoldering Stone and the Pagasian, uh, Primordial, sorry. Like, I, I'll take a Cerberus task, uh, a Thermi task. I'll take a Zora task, that'd be pretty cool. Or DKs. I, I died when I first came into the room, and I've been struggling since. But as you might be able to see in the chat box and in my inventory, I've got myself yet another Berserker Ring, which I think I think this is my fifth now with no other drop from um, Rex, which uh, it's kind of kind of crazy, you know. Well, uh, you know those those chaps that I uh, spent some time trying to get my hands on. Yep, there we go. <laughs> it was it was sort of wasted time. I I I had fun. I don't mind the fact that I spent the time making it, but hey, uh, yeah. Now that I've got back into the swing of things, everything's okay. Hello, I am really struggling. Well, my blowpipe ran out of charges, and I'm probably gonna have to leave. So I'm just gonna. Like, the blowpipe's actually not horrific. Like it's it's not great. Like, but it's hidden. But yeah, I'm probably gonna. Just finish off Rex here and then I'll leave. Um Alright, let's see what we're gonna get from Rex in before another B ring. Another rune bar, I'll take it. Okay, so I finally decided to actually do something towards my uh base eighties goal. So yeah, I came over to here and I've smashing been smashing this out. I'm kind of worried I'm gonna skip it. Okay, I'm on hundred percent, feels good man. So no, okay. Oh, we've been hundred percent ah, there we go. 80 mining is pretty pretty cool accomplishment. I wasn't actually banking these for the first amount of time that I did this. I dropped quite a few. Um, but last time I checked, I had about yeah, I I I actually banked around 12 to 1300, I think. I dropped quite a few though. Um, but yeah, I thought, "Hey, I wanted to get base 80s and I basically haven't done anything towards that yet, so let's let's do this one." And I do eventually want to collect all of the uh, the gloves as well from here, because I'm a freaking nerd, and <laughs> that's and basically my plan after I get 92 mining is to have the Varrock Diary for armor and the expert mining gloves and just live live at the amethysts. So <laughs> yeah, that it will be it will be nice to get them, and yeah, that's one skill down for the base 80s. I don't know which one I'll be going for next. I kind of want to go and finish off my Slayer task. I've got a Gargoyle Slayer task. I did a few kills with the boss, but the boss isn't the most interesting, and it's really slow, and I don't really want to kill it right now. There's no real reason for me to. Uh, so I might just go kill regular Gargoyles and keep smashing out some Slayer until I figure out what I actually want to do. But first, Farm Run, because I'm being efficient and actually doing those now. I'm close to level. Oh, okay. Oh dear, a Calphite task. Does this mean I'm going to be going to go kill KQ? I think it does. I haven't killed KQ in a very long time. I'm not quite sure how to do it, so I'm going to have to double check. 
not having a uh, track on Warhammer is going to be a bit annoying. Uh, but yeah, I think I should be able to kill it a good few times at least. Uh, I nearly killed it. It's, it deals a lot of damage. I don't know if I'm praying the wrong thing. I couldn't be bothered to look up a guide. Oof. I see that drop and I just instantly nut. That is like the main reason that I'm here. I like Zami wines. Yes, please. Just all of them. Just oh, don't have to go collect these now myself. That's just beautiful. That is an elite from uh, KQ. Also, even more herbal or surprise supplies. Not that the potato cactus is quite so special anymore, because like obviously you can get it from um, farming now. Which I have. I think I recently hit a thousand. So I've got plenty of that. And also, yeah, I do I do kill the little guys in between the uh kills because like it just means slightly less time just killing KQ and like it's just it's just a bit quicker. The knockback of twenty twenty inadvertently gives you with slow note. You have to be careful. Whoa, 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 isn't that one of the rares? Isn't that rare from KQ? Um Cool, I guess. I mean, it's pretty cool. You gotta you, like, you can't go wrong with the D two H. Look at that thing. But like, I don't think it's. <laughs> I think useless might be an overstatement. Don't you do it? Okay, prayer potions and magic logs. I can live with that. I was scared it was gonna give me something good. Okay, so this is gonna be kill number fifty, and if that feels to me like a nice round number, let's not get killed. That feels like a nice round number where I'm quite happy to call it with KQ for the bit, for the moment. Uh, if I just check Runelight how, for how many kills I've got, that would have been 48 kills this task. Which I think is reasonable. If I if I aim to get 50 kills every time I get a KQ task, I will get the... Like, that will give me a good amount of uh, herbal or supplies, and I'll get the head eventually. And yeah, I'm quite happy to do that. But right now I'm going to go and kill some of these little guys. I might just do it at the um, entrance to the cave since I'm already here. But yeah, let's go finish these guys off and go get a new task. I do Cerberus, but I kind of feel like I should do Sire, but I also really don't want to do Sire. But next time I get an Abyssal Demons task, I will do Sire. Uh, Cerberus, please. Kraken, damn. Oh, I want a Kraken. Look at this dude, he get again a task he wants to do. Kraken's another boss, which I feel like I should do, but I don't want to do right now. Go on. Lizardmen, shaman's time! Oh, I'm so happy. I've just finished my hell my shaman's task, as you can see. We got a hellhound's task. This is what I've been hoping for the whole time. It's time to go kill some Cerberus. Uh, hopefully, I can, hopefully I can get a primordial crystal. That's what I'm really hoping, hoping for. I'd be really happy with the smoldering stone as well, because then I can get some wood cutting going. Um, two small ring stones would be cool, I guess. Uh, let's let's not go for three though. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's go smash out this Cerberus task. I'm probably gonna range it because I'm fairly sure range is meant to be better DPS and safer. So I feel like it's probably worth the scales. And I'm training range at the moment because I want to get up to ninety nine. Because the cape, especially with the hell with the head that I can use on it will be really good, like with the defensive and the like. It'll essentially just be a defensive avers just without the strength, and it'll be really good. So yeah, I want to get that. Um, yeah, let's gear up and go kill some Cerberus. I noticed I was close to the 250 total rubies that I need for the curator's curator's ru I can't remember what it's called the create curator's medallion or something like that. The thing that I need for the mounted dig site pendant, so I decided let's just go to the gem mine and collect those last ones that I need real quick so that I can get that sorted. 40 minutes later, I hadn't actually got very many rubies, I forgot how low the drop rate was, but something that I remembered is that there is a gem stall in Karend where you can buy rubies, and they actually I think they have two or three in stock, so I decided for the last couple I needed about 20, I was just going to go buy them from the shop. As I said, when I started doing some Konar Slayer, the reason that I was doing Konar Slayer was to get rubies for the Mounted Dig Site Pendant. But I kind of want to get it. I've been... How do I get a medallion? I... What? Do I... do I need the... 
You'll need a hundred cos. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the reason that I was doing Konos Layer was because I wanted to get the mounted dig site pendant, because then I wouldn't need to store them in my bank. I wouldn't need to keep making more, and all of this. Like these could just leave. Uh, what was that I needed? I needed cosmic and fire runes. Um. Yeah. So now that I've be now now that I can get this, I'm gonna head over to, uh. Keldegrim and get myself a gold leaf so I can make myself a mounted dig site pendant. Okay, so I need to get myself a gold leaf for the teleport. And while I'm here, it's gonna be painful because these are very expensive. <laughs> but um, for the second tier of the Nexus, and I feel like it's probably worth getting because then I'll never need to get it again. Oh, <laughs> and I have 12 mil. I'm rich. Okay. Ooh, I need eight of these and two more of these. I'm going to buy one. Oh, it's so expensive, dude. How much does it go up? It goes up about 100k, I think that is, right? Just, just chat. Oh, cool. They've refreshed. I'm also going to buy a, more gold leaves because the, uh, the second tier of the Nexus requires two gold leaves, so gonna buy keep doing this so that i get the cheapest prices that i can i i have no i have plenty of money this is this is stupid but i'm still gonna do it but yeah um i need to grab grab myself eight marble blocks so four more and then i'll be heading to my house to build these thingy magics right apologies for how laggy this clip is i don't actually know why it just I wasn't doing anything on my computer at the time, it just decided it was going to be incredibly laggy, so yeah, apologies for that. Yeah, so let's do some... What? Uh, okay. Uh, okay, let's try that again. Alright, the portal nexus is here. Let's build this first. We need to build the first tier, four marble blocks. Oof. It, it it looks really friggin' cool, I'm not gonna lie. And then the second tier, the gilded one. I don't think, I actually don't like how that one looks as much. I feel like it looks cool darker, but that's kind of not how RuneScape works. The better things are bright and shiny. And then we have two amulet spaces. I'm fairly sure it doesn't matter. Like, either one can go either side. Yep, there you go. So let's build the mounted dig site pendant. Sweet. Uh, yeah, that's tagged because I have it tagged on my main because I pretty much only do rune dragons So I just I I drink from there and then I tell you and but yeah um, Yeah, that now that I have this I can do my um, My my dude. Oh, and I can run through here I can do my birdhouse runs even easier because I don't need to worry about getting my dig set pendants out I'm also uh, Now that I've done this I am gonna alk these and figure out how I'm going to lay this out now, because this is just getting hectic. Beginner casket, always get great things from these. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, my days, dude. Friggin' free-to-play best in slot just from that, Jesus. It's worth 20 coins, feels good, man. <gasps> finally dude finally that is the first piece of zami dehyde that i have got and it is one of the better ones uh it would have been like i think i have a sarah top but i don't have sarah bottoms which is kind of upsetting because the best ones you can really wish for is is to have a zami top and sarah bottom or the other way around um but either way We've got it. We've finally got a Zami D hide piece. Pretty freaking cool, not gonna lie. And uh, let's see. Do I have a. I have Guthix bottoms. Yeah, my, I have my Sarah top in here, don't I? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. We've got, we've got, a, we've got a Zami piece, finally. <laughs> this has been an interesting clue. My, my first step, I was. I can't actually remember what the first step was, but the second step was to come and talk to this lady over here. And then the third step was to go over to that island, and now the fourth step is to come back here. So, 
we're getting a uh, we had like the the wildy hard clue before. We've got a Fremi uh, elite clue this time. Uh, hand it back. Right, well, we're gonna get Fremnik. Uh, Warriors Guild. Not quite Fremnik, but hey. Ah, yes, the one use of the strength cape. Okay, so this was a very long elite clue. Uh, I don't think I can check how many steps it was. No, but let's see. What are we gonna get? I I think you can get mimics, mimics from elites, which would be pretty cool. Or we could get a royal gown bomb. I'm not gonna lie. I got excited when I saw it, uh, and then I looked down at the the price. I guess it's not worth very much. No. Uh, I can see why it's a recolored mystic bomb. And I think for the third time in a row now, we're ending on a clue scroll. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed, I will see you in the next one.